Hey -o, my Planet Coaster friends, and welcome back to another episode of Scenario Spotlight. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Aquafort, created by Extraordinaire. So, stay tuned, and let's check it out. Alright, this was sent in by one of our Discord legend builders, Extraordinaire, and he says, Aquafort, the clockwork whale, provides the only transport to the Virgin Islands of Grim Refuge, P Parrot's Eye, Iron Reef, and Alhambra. Use the ferries to build a massive park and earn big money. Alright, interesting. And that's all he has for the backstory. Okay. And, uh, Although I'm curious, is it Aquaforte? I would have said Aquaforte, but Aquafort, I don't know. That's mm. also up in my mind, but. <laughs> so standard entrance, but come into here. Port Authority. Objectives. All right, let's do that before we look at all this amazing artwork. Uh, build three rides, build 10 rides, build three coasters, or two more coasters. Achieve park rating of 2,000, acquire $200,000. I, I kind of like that. You're like, rides, more rides, and then get some coasters in there, and then a ton of money, and you're going to be building more rides, coasters, and shops to earn that money. So straightforward, but also solid. They're not easy, not not too hard. So good. Um, basic basic objective. Yeah. These look amazing. So let's say that entrance. This is the entrance right okay. here. Okay. No, no special spawns or anything. The artwork's amazing. Barnacle Bay. Love nice that. sign. <laughs> Is there a SpongeBob around? <laughs> <laughs> I like all the little boats lined up here. Some great details. Are there some shops in here or anything? Okay, we got a staff building. Sure there are. Not seeing any. Maybe it's nice detail. out on the whale. So the one, I mean, this is a really cool idea, but the one problem as we talked, staff cannot take transport rides, or they will not. Um, so you have to, I don't know if he's disabled terrain. They Maybe have, he has a... He's disabled terrain. So note to Extraordinaire, you might want to come back and update this. And what you do is you do underground tunnels that take you from island to island. Um, the guests will, some guests don't even want to use transport rides. So some people will just get stuck on islands. So if you have uh, underground tunnels that take you from island to island, I know it kind of breaks the immersion, but because it's underground, you won't even notice it, right? So it'll seem like most people are only getting around by boat, but you have these, you know, magical people appearing from these little buildings or something and uh, your staff will be able to get around otherwise and because you've disabled terrain now people are forced to actually build these giant ugly bridges unless they decorate them but it kind of defeats the purpose right so i think the underground tunnel is your best solution so i definitely consider updating this and that's just some things that people don't know about oh, holy moly look at this giant whale mm. That's cool. Remember, he That's did awesome. this with the um, his elephant tastic, same style. Mm -hmm. I mean, do I still have subscribed? It would be Beautiful. perfect over on this this island doing that. Yeah, it's really gorgeous. This sign is amazing. Quick question though, paths don't clip through terrain, right? Like we could do ride and stuff clipping through terrain, but you can't do it with paths. Um, you mean like tunnel? Yeah, like you, but you. No, you can't tunnel a path through terrain if terrain's disabled. But uh -oh. what we might be able to do, we might be able to run a path underwater. I think the guests yeah. will actually walk underwater. They will. I, I'm pretty sure they will. But because the water's so shallow on this map, you'll literally see them walking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just curious if you could, like, do terrain clipping and get a path under. But I don't think they've... Uh, put that in yet like frontier and i don't think they have so. all right boys take a walk this thing under the beautiful. water look at that yeah that's yeah, really cool yeah beautiful ride and we have all these and i mean your islands. other option would be m making each island like uh self-sufficient in terms of staff but then you have your ride sitting out in the middle of the water and that's and i think the staff will get like derpy because they'll be like i'm gonna go fix this ride they'll they'll be prioritized to do not it. if you do the not if you do the rosters or whatever oh, they're called right 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 yeah you're right that could work it, 
But then, yeah, some guests might not want to take the the ride back. Um, yeah. There are issues. It's not a. Although I I thought guess the I thought guess would if it was literally the only way to go unless they run out of money in which case you have to have an ATM there. I think I think it still works. So, but I, I hope you're right. But I know Wix was having that trouble, right? Um, yeah. Gave us bridges. Yeah, the islands look great. Yeah. Those are fun expansion yeah. spots. And he's he's actually giving you a, quite a bit of hard objectives in a lot of them. And you're really going to have to utilize this space uh, correctly. I mean, you can probably build out here on the outskirts a little bit if you want. Um, yes, you could. But I, I definitely see this whole thing filling up. And what I really love about this, it's you know, you, you it's going to look like your own park when you're done. He's only built you a small little bit here on a ride. And by the time you're done, it'll really feel like your own park. So, um, it's, 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 it's nice. I like the way he started it off. So, flat rides, how many do we have? I don't think we have any. Did I... S you can look in the park list. Just make sure. Oh, um, well, maybe he... Maybe. That's just all island tours. There's Aquaforte... Oh yeah, I think Aquaforte is the only ride. Maybe and just shops. Like How many this. shops did we end up with? Some, well, you left the screen. I, I saw the bathroom and the staff management building in the inside here. So, but I think there's shops yeah. inside the whale, though. Is there? Mm-hmm. There's. You can walk in there. Yeah, because he's got a station and stuff. It's a little city. There's a bathroom. In terms of food and stuff, I don't think there is an... Oh, here we there go. There we go. Yeah. His uh, steampunk animal things are so cool. They remind me of, uh, if anybody played Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like, I want him to make one for each of the four monsters you have to fight, and then somebody can make a Zelda park. It'll be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very cool. Let's give this um, main attraction... We got a corkscrew? American. Oh, it's the Deegan, the new one. Look at that. This is so neat. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have a collection on this guy? Let's see here. N no starter kit for this guy. All right, guys, oh. if you want to uh, play this scenario for yourself, um, links are down in the description as always. Give it a download and rating, all that good stuff. And that's going to do it for this episode of Scenario Spotlight. And we will see you in the next video. Bye now.